What's up, Parking Family? Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree haul. Side note, it's partly cloudy outside, so it keeps going from sunny to cloudy, sunny to cloudy, so the lighting in this is going to be funky. Before we begin the Dollar Tree haul, as always, I like to share with you guys my graphic shirt. I just got this one yesterday. It says, everything I know I learned on these streets, and it has Sesame Street. I like this one so, so much. I think it was $7.88. So the reason I have a random haul today I uploaded one earlier this week is because a lot of what I have to share with you guys is more so like for children and kids but it's just like really really cool and if you're into nostalgic things like you were born in the 80s the 90s you'll like some of the items that I got so I'm gonna start off with my favorite item in this haul you guys look at these freaking cute erasers they are dr seuss erasers oh my gosh they're so freaking cute so i actually bought one for my gender review i'm gonna put it on the table and then i got one for my sister because i was like oh maybe she can give these away to the kids at her job they are so cute oh my gosh she has green eggs and ham one fish two fish red fish blue fish the cat in the hat hoarding here's a who thing one thing two and then the cat in the hat I think these are the cutest erasers I have ever seen. They had other Dr. Seuss items, but it was nothing that I needed, like dry erase um, erasers. Um, there was like borders for classrooms, uh, pencil grips, but the pencil grips didn't have anything like Dr. Seuss looking to them other than like the colors of these books pretty much. But this was so freaking adorable. Next up, I have some baby related items to share with you guys. I've never seen these at Dollar Tree before. It's new to Dollar Tree. I googled the brand, the brand they sell at Walmart, and I found a few items on Bye Bye Baby. Is that what it's called? Or Bye Baby? I don't really know. I know when it comes to babies, there are certain things mothers will use on their babies, certain things they won't. Um, these items, so some of them say BPA free. This has nothing on it. The first thing I have to share with you guys is just combs. It is a soft bristle and fine teeth washable comb. Princess brush and comb. So they had a bunch of princesses, pretty much all the princesses. Not all of them, but almost all of them. So I found Belle, Cinderella, and Ariel. I also saw Snow White and Aurora. Belle and Ariel are my favorite Disney princesses. It says Disney princesses. It's licensed by Disney uh, and has a Disney website. And then it says Baby King. This is made in China and distributed by Regent Baby Products. I want to be as uh, detailed with this as possible because I know, you know, I'm sure I'm probably going to get comments like, don't give that to your baby. But to each their own, right? Okay. And then I was able to find these Disney baby BPA free and compliance complies with I am going to try to pronounce that regulation so this is for six plus months and it's just princess fork and spoon and it has Cinderella uh, Aurora Belle Ariel Tiana and Snow White and this was the only like set of spoons I saw then I found a bunch of pacifiers so there was a lot more than what I ended up picking up I found Winnie the Pooh pacifiers they're so cute so cute it says zero plus months bpa free and then complies with that thing i cannot pronounce the winnie the pooh ones i really like so i got two different winnie the pooh ones and then i got a mickey and a mini one and oh one more thing like i said walmart carries them and it's not just like a secondhand seller from a uh, walmart because you know on walmart and like amazon people who aren't really associated with either or like private sellers can sell on those websites and this was being sold by Walmart and shipped out by Walmart. It wasn't being shipped out by some random person who bought these at Dollar Tree and then they're trying to flip them. And then the other thing I was able to find was this Mickey Mouse pacifier holder. There was a Minnie Mouse and a Mickey Mouse. I got the Mickey Mouse one. I hate thing I told you guys, or at least on Instagram, I know I've mentioned it a few times. I'm leaning toward I'm having a boy. I don't know, you know, you don't know. It's 50 50. How the heck would I actually know? But based off of what I saw in the ultrasound, it just really looks like a boy to me. And um, I'm also carrying very low. I'm gonna have to do an update to show you guys my belly, but I'm carrying low. It's just, just like it, I feel like I'm having a boy. But at the same time, when I got the 3D ultrasound of the baby, it has my lips, it has the nose that I had when I was a baby. So I'm thinking, well, is it a girl? Is it just gonna be a girl and look just like me? I don't know. My sisters both think girls based off of the lips of the baby. And then my dad, he keeps going back and forth and my mom thinks a boy. My brother hasn't told me anything. My brother doesn't live in the state anymore. Okay, the next items that I got, you guys. This is what I'm talking about. Nostalgia. 
they got Care Bear figurines in. Oh my gosh. So they only have four of them. My favorite is in this collection, Cheer Bear. Cheer Bear has always been my favorite. Um, Care Bear. And I was just talking to Matt about Care Bears and actually My Little Pony because I was talking about when I was younger, like a toddler and stuff. Those were my favorite cartoons. So I got Cheer Bear, Share Bear, Grumpy Bear, and Love A Lot Bear. My sister actually has a Care Bear collection. She has like, I don't know, like 20 of them, different ones. Oh, I thought that was so cute. And I was like, I can actually use this if I want to. I know I want a Toy Story themed bedroom, but if I decide to go in a different direction, eventually, who knows, I can use these like in a shadow box and kind of create like a picture, a Care Bear type of picture. I don't know quite yet. Then, again, with the nostalgia, Muppet Babies. So, I don't know if you guys remember the old Muppet Babies in the 90s on Nickelodeon. Muppet Babies. Okay, anyways, they brought them back. I don't know if it's like the same theme song. Uh, but this time it's on Disney Junior. And so, was it on? No, I'm pretty sure it was on Nickelodeon, not on Disney. Anyways, but now it says Disney Junior. They brought it back. There's a new character named Summer. So they had Piggy, Kermit, Fozzie, Gonzo, and Animal, which I got all five of those. And then one named Summer, and I know that one's new. I didn't get her. And I had the same thing going through my head. If I try to go in a different direction, I can, like, do something with this. Obviously, I can't have my baby playing with something this tiny. But I can use them like in a shadow box in a picture and hang it up. So we'll see. But oh my gosh, so freaking cute. And let me tell you, the paint jobs on these things are so much better than what you normally see at Dollar Tree. Like Buzz Lightyear and Woody. Like you buy those little um, ones or even like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or the um, superheroes. Sometimes the paint job on them is really wonky. The paint job on these and the Care Bears is really good. I think this is like... Oh wow, you guys, it's actually being sold by Greenbrier, which is like the Dollar Tree brand. And the paint job on this is good, and like I said, surprising. This is total 90s girl toy nostalgia. I found Polly Pockets. So it looks like they're kind of like, not blind bags, because you can see clearly through it, but something similar. So I ended up picking up two of them, because I want to see how Polly Pocket looks now. I've heard that she's not the same, and I've seen before that they had like a bigger version of her. But I can slightly see her in these bags, and I, I want to take it out, and I want to see how she's changed. So I'm going to open one of them, and then I think I'll end up giving one of them away. She looks like flexible. I don't know. But this brought back so many memories. I used to love Polly Pocket. I had this Polly Pocket mansion that I sold at a garage sale, and looking back at it, I wish I never freaking sold that thing. I really wanted to share this with you guys if you have any kids that like to play with Barbies and dolls. You know, Dollar Tree recently has gotten in a lot of Barbie, like, accessories and dresses. I haven't seen clothes like this before. So it comes with a top and a bottom, and it's like careers. So I found, like, a nurse or a doctor. I'm, I'm assuming this is more like a nurse, though. This reminds me of more, like, nurse clothing. Um, it is just, like, the nurse top and nurse's pants. And then there's um, the chef right over here. And then I got a referee. I also saw, like, a golf player. Um type of uh, clothing package thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I thought that was really cool for a buck. I don't know how much these actually retailed for, but I don't think a dollar. And then I was able to find a Powerpuff Girls little tank top. It only comes with the tank top and it's Blossom. I was trying to see if I could find Bubbles and Buttercup. I used to love um, Powerpuff Girls as well. They got more Shopkins in right now. I actually opened up one of these because I was like, what exactly is it? There's a puzzle in there. It's a, what, 50 piece puzzle and then a little Shopkin. And I was trying to time myself and see how fast I could do the puzzle. I did it in 5 minutes and 40 seconds, which I don't think is good. Then I got these Barbie blind bags. They're career mini dolls and they have the Barbies on the back of them. You can see which ones you can get. I used to love going to McDonald's back in the day and getting the Barbies in the Happy Meal. They've changed the way they are. Like I think the ones I had back in the day were way better in the 90s, the hard plastic ones. Now I think they're like kind of soft and they have not real hair, but it's like hair that you can actually do things with versus the hard plastic. I think the hard plastic is like 10 times better. Then I picked up two of these My Little Pony blind bags. This is obviously from Christmas time. It looks like a present and it says best gift ever. I didn't buy these for myself so I'm not going to open them up. But if you have a kid that likes My Little Pony, and it's a newer version, you know, it's not the old school version. Speaking of baby things, oh, I was so happy to find these things. I was looking for them everywhere. Okay, I found the foil balloons that say boy and girl. 
My gender reveal is March 14th, and I'm doing a bunch of DIYs for it, and I was looking for these things everywhere. I knew Dollar Tree carried them, and I finally got them. This is such a good price, a dollar for these things. It's not like huge. They're usually like about this size, but they're perfect for what I need. You know, if you put them on a table or on the wall, it's not, it's not anything huge. It's like, does it say? It says 22 inches. The final thing I have to share with you guys isn't kid or baby related. I got two notebooks. They're so cute. It says, just roll with it and there's sushi on it. And then there's this one that says, this is nacho book. And there's a little nacho. These are really cute. I got them. I was like, I need notebooks. I got through so many lately. And I need more because like I just keep writing down supplies that I need, things I need to do, things I want for the nursery. So anyways, that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this brought you down memory lane. Uh, super cute items. So like I said though, it's more like I'm the kid side of this haul and I've never really actually done a haul like this. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I see you guys Monday with a tutorial. I'm aiming to do a Dollar Tree, tree ugh, what did I just say? Dollar Tree tutorial Monday. Uh, whether it be the gender reveal party things or an Easter one. I just really want to get a Dollar Tree DIY out. Anyways, I'll see you guys then. Take care. Bye.